Hey, how are you doing? What's up? So today I'm taking you right now to a wonderful place here in Delhi and one of the first places that Mughals used to administer the city which is Burana Kla. So of course the Burana Kla itself is named the Burana means old. Just look at the gate. This is the main gate actually and it is like the theme for Burana Kla. The Kla itself it was built by Emperor Humayun the second a Mughal emperor but the site itself was like pre-prepared for being an administration center of the city he started building the Burana Kla in like 1533 but he didn't manage to complete it because what happened that Humayun was defeated by one of his generals or one of his father's generals Sher Shah Suri who took over the reign and started the, the Suri dynasty who lasted all over his life and then fall again but anyway just let's enter the Kla as you can see this is the main entrance of the Kla and as you can see the huge gates of the fort this is a huge gate and there is also a small gate inside just to see how huge it is and this gate this is what is called the Bara Darwaza or the Great Gate. This is like the western entrance for the fortress and was built also by Humayun and it is 20 meters height. This Bara Darwaza and these are the inside walls of the Urana Kla and inside it there is an archaeological museum which is like a new museum this is a new museum that was established in 1973 i think we will explore this museum in our way out but meanwhile just see how this fort is big i think there are like three main gates here i think so but there are also many other attractions and some of these attractions is Kalai Kuhna Mosque and uh, Kalai Kuhna Mosque is my favorite place here because you know, do you know this movie Veer Zara? do you know the poster of the movie when Veer is hugging Zara and they are having this background behind them well, this background was inside Kalai Kuhna Mosque just to say and in the middle, as you can see, the Indian flag. The weather today is so sunny. So, 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 so sunny. Which is good. I'm very glad I'm having this. So always keep it in mind to have water, to have cap, and you will be fine. Here, they are describing okay here there's like this side there is Humayun Darwaza there is Baoli there is Sher Mandal and there is some remains and there's a Hammam Sher Mandal Sher Mandal is also a very important place here and it was built actually to be uh, it was ordered to be built by Babur himself he wanted to be an observatory and to be a library for his son Humayun to study and to receive knowledge and education and that's why it is it was built so yeah we just crossed the Zabara Darwaza and over there there is another gate this is what is called Humayun Darwaza so I think we can just do it like that 
go to Zabara Darvaza first, the Humayun Darvaza, and then return back to the Kalai Kuhna and to the Sheer Mountains. And there is also Talaki Darvaza. There are, I told you, there are like three main gates here. Bara Darvaza, this side. Humayun Darvaza, this side. And the Talaki Darvaza in the other side. So yeah, here giving us Burana Kla and also popularly known as Bandavun Kakla. So you know why it's called the Bandavun Kakla? Because it is believed that in this area, like was built over like in, in the location of this area, there was a city and this city was mentioned in the uh, Indian epic, the Mahabharata. And the Bandavun Gakala is like related to the, the Bandavs, the five Bandavs, Arjun and his brothers. So now, let's go. Now inside the Kala it looks like a huge open garden, but this was once like the center of administration of uh, Mughals ruled the city from this place and yes I was telling you that Humayun is the one who built it like he let's say that he completed building the Kla completely but what happens that after he built it Sher Shah Suri uh, he was an Afghani general who served under his father Babur he decided like if I'm strong enough to be a king so who can stop me and he just decided to be a king and he dethroned Humayun and Humayun fled to Persia and he stayed in Persia as long as Sher Shah Suri was alive because he was so powerful then after the death of Sher Shah Suri Humayun started to gather how to say it he stayed i think in exile for maybe more than 20 years or maybe even more but then once he returned back again he took control of the city and actually Sher Shah Suri he completed the building like it, it is the building it started in the time of Humayun and then Sher Shah Suri completed as a building and he built also Kalai Kohna uh, Mosque but then Humayun somehow he managed to gather alliance to return back and once he returned back he didn't rule actually for a long time uh, maybe four or five years then he died and after his death there was very many uh, unrest because his son Akbar Jalaluddin Muhammad he was very young but Bayram Khan one of his generals and he was a stud of or the, is a teacher of uh, Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar he took care of his reign and he helped him till he grew up Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar and was able to take control of the empire by himself so yeah now we are approaching the Humayun Darvaza. You just go there and check the Darvaza. The other gate also is identical to this gate, the Talaki Darvaza. This is one gate and the other gate is like just identical to this one. They are almost the same gate. Now we are approaching here. This is Zoma in Darvaza. Oh yeah, they are telling you that though it's called Humayun Darvaza, but the gate was 
attributed to Sher Shah Suri. And the gate, can you, can you see? It's like, this is the gate over there. And there's like this tunnel down there. So, it takes us completely down. So I don't know was it like a double gate or something and this one was closed recently or what? Oh, but yes, it is a very, it has a very interesting design. So now we will go towards Shermandal and just check this building out but yes before we enter I can see the hammam there is the hammam over there we will just check it before the sheer Mandal. Let's see. There's like some uh, excavations at Foranakla. Somehow sort of archaeological site. And now we're approaching the Hammam. This is like the entrance to the hammam. This was like a bathhouse over there. I don't know if you can see the side. So it is very interesting that there is no entry, but maybe, like how to say it. Has another entry. Now we're approaching Chair Mandal. And this was once the study place of Emperor Humayun when he was young. It was the observatory, so he used to sit there with his teachers and being educated. Uh, learn about astrology, uh, the literature, many things. I mean, like Mughals, at some certain point, uh, I said, 
used to really take care of education but I'm just checking out if there is any gate or entry Yes, this is the entrance to the Shermandal, and of course, it is closed. And like, I don't know. It is. It, I can open it, but I will not open it since they are closing it. Then there is no point in in opening it. But yeah, and maybe there is there is an officer over there. I didn't open it, officer. I promise. So, right now, we will leave the Sher Mandal and we will go to my favorite place inside the Burana Kala which is the Kala Kona Masjid Sheer Mandal, the bus, the double story octagonal pavilion of red sandstone is now Sheer Mandal after Sheer Shah Suri, who is believed to have built it about to search our smart each. Okay. Yes, possibly raised. The pavilion is said to have been used by Huayn as his library and is believed to have died after a mortal fall from its steps so yeah this is Sher Mandal so the, it's called Sher Mandal after Sher Shah Suri but it is believed also like oh like I don't know now there's like double stories Sher Shah Suri who built it or Babur who built it for his son and then Sher Shah Suri uh, like had said reformed it and used it for his own amusement and now we know that the great emperor Humayun he died at this place when he's, he, he just fell out of this place and that's how he died so yeah very interesting we are learning like how to say double facts today but you know history is full of contradictions now we are approaching my favorite section here okay i think we can just take yeah the bauli yes before going any further the bauli or the place that was used to secure clean water the stepwell this is the introduction about the Baudi and this is the Baudi itself you can see how deep it is and there is also water inside so yeah this is how they used to store water build a step well and um, how to say it I don't know how they used to fill it like because it was like provide a connection between the Bauli and the river or or what it is very interesting or it was just a well and they just there was already water inside and they just built this building around it 
I don't know. But anyway, we will move. We will continue our way to Kilaya Kuhna Masjid. This is uh, the outer side of the Kilaya Kuhna Masjid. This is like some side gates of the mosque. And this is the view of the mosque. This is a Kalai Kuhna Masjid. That's where Veer met Zara. And they took this picture. I love this picture. Okay. The Kala i Kohna Masjid, which means literally the mosque of the old fort. And yes, it was built by Sher Shah Suri in 1541. Yes, and the prayer hole measures 51 meters by 15 meters. about that the weather inside is completely different than the weather outside let's see oh yes i knew it i knew that the air here will be much cooler yes this house used to survive this hot weather they built the buildings that can how's it gather the cool air they had an art this is an artistic place just witness how beautiful it is the shapes of the domes This say, Allahu Lazi Khalaqa Samawat Wal Arda Wa Ja'ala Azulumat Wa Nur It is Allah, the one who created the lands, uh, the sky and, and the land and the earth and made the day and the night, the light and the darkness. Yes, there are many other stuff here. Allah, Allah, there is no God but God, and Muhammad is his prophet. Yes, it's full of calligraphy. It is full of calligraphy, and this is the center. And as I told you, this center is known for the iconic picture of Vir Zara. Also, all this 
kaligrafi. Kaligrafi inside. And all the spars and the designs. So yeah, this place is just amazing. Amazing and the weather inside is very very cool. This is the six of the last part inside the mosque. Can you see this part? In Arabic, they call this part Al Muqarnas. Al Muqarnas is like a brilliant idea that they used to build a dome. So if you want to build a dome like that around the chamber dome in a, in a square area, then you have to build Al Muqarnas so you can have like a space for this circle to fill this circle. There is also Mukarnas in the corners just to carry the size of the round uh, of the rounded parts. Now let's carry on. Let's carry on and explore. No, I want I want to go from this side. Still, again, we are leaving this part. It's about from Vir Zara. So yeah, the, war, the weather inside here is very chilly. But now we're going outside and the weather will start being very hot. And here there is I don't know why this part is made, why this hole in the heart is made, but it must be made for a good reason. We will never know. Anyway, we will make our way to the other side from back there, where we will have like. Uh, wait. There's a way down there, yes. Are like the remains of the back side of the wall. Let me show you. These are like those ones, the walls of Burana Hila, and how it looks like now. It's allowed to walk here. No? Okay. You can see all these rooms down there. All these rooms and tunnels. And even the tunnels here. Can you see all these rooms? And here, like a space between these two walls. So yes, this place is uh, is amazing. Now let's go to the other side to check the Talaki. Uh, we will check the Talaki gate. But here, these are also some some stuff some rooms under under the mosque so 
yeah, these rooms were like a multi-purpose sections. Used it to store things for horses, for workers. Just adding lots of space. And here also can you see this tunnel down there. You can see all these towns, all these spaces, just amazing, right? Now we're back again, walking by the walls of the fort. And even the inside part of the fort is full of this arcs, just to show you. These are like the stairs for the walls. And these are the inside arcs. Can you see? It has lots of rooms. Looks like a tunnel or something. Yes, you can see the walls from here. Amazing. So yeah, this fort is very special. Oh, can you see the columns of the fort? How huge, how enormous, how big it is. Yes, they are doing like many restoration work here inside this fort, but it needs also lots of cleaning to clear, to have a better clean of the garden. There is also a canteen here, in case you're hungry, you want to have any kind of food, oh, this is your place.
Yes, and over there we are approaching the Talaki Kuna. Uh, Talaki, the Talaki Gate. Talaki Darvaza. The third gate inside the fort. Oh, look at this kind of fur. Yes. So it is a fort, a garden, and a zoo also. And this is our Talaki Darvaza. over here this is the northern gate of the fort it is 70 meters of height so yes so this is the Darvaza and as they said so the lower part is the way of water and the upper part is the way like is the roadway and you can access it actually here from the stairs so I will go up and show you Exactly. There is a tunnel and there is a way. Okay, so this was once the way for the soldiers and down there it was an entry, I don't know, for the water. That's how does the description say. But yes, it is nice. I think we have seen everything inside this fort. 
there is nothing else left starting from the main gate and touring the entire fort and now we are in this section and the rest are the walls of the fort so yes it is a great fort with a great story and it will be very good for you to explore it thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next destination